usasurftrip.com. We're here at Surf Expo Orlando 2010 with uh, Justin from GoPro. Uh, just want to talk, touch on a few things. Uh, first off, you know everybody's kind of been hurting in the recession, but you know we want to see you know what GoPro has done to kind of diversify or um, you know grow during this period. Secondly, product innovation. Justin, you got a lot to talk about there. <laughs> Um, and thirdly, social responsibility, just kind of want to get a feel for what GoPro, um, you know, who they represent or, you know, what community uh, or if they're giving back to the environment, just kind of get a feel for that. So, Justin, I'm going to turn it over, man. Tell me a little bit about what you guys have been doing during the economy. Well, I mean, I'll be honest, we've been quite fortunate. Um, GoPro's managed to, to grow throughout the last two years, which is very few companies have had that luxury. Um, so we feel pretty blessed to have made it through and, and grown, I mean, multiple hundred percent. Substantially. You know, like substantially. <laughs> yeah. Um, it, part of it has really been our mantra since day one, which is keeping the, the price point at an affordable level and really trying to reach, reach the masses and, and let your average consumer get the same footage that the pros are getting. I mean, that was kind of where it all started with the owner's uh, mindset when he created the product was, I want me and all my friends to be able to go out and get the camera and snap shots of each other while we're surfing. He didn't want it to be that one guy that could afford it because he's got the big bankroll. Right. And he's got the camera and then he's bummed that he's not getting footage of himself. Right, right. You know? Since then, we've obviously come a long way. The camera kind of turned around. It's on the end of your surfboard, your helmet, your car, your motorcycle. Etc. I mean, so versatility is another key component. We've managed to create, you know, reach a really broad market uh, by creating new mounts and accessories that reach different places. You know, it started in surf, but I mean, I mean, it's, it's limitless possibilities at this point. Um, we're releasing a new camera, 960p HD camera, full HD, 180 bucks retail. Wow. So I mean, that's another way that we're, you know, trying to reach more people, but also. You know, we know people are hurting. Yeah. So by keeping that price point down, I mean we can charge more. And yeah. Things. Competitors that do charge more. Right. But I think we're selling more because we've kept that price point low. You mentioned competitors. Where would you say your market share is right now? Oh man, that's hard to say. Yeah. But I think we're we're number one by number by one. Far. Yeah. My intuition tells me you guys are number one too. Yeah. And um, a lot of that is like right back to that versatility. We're able yeah. to cover more bases than really any of our other competitors. You know, a lot of companies are a helmet camera or an onboard car camera. Right. And we're everything. Yeah. You know, we're, we're a wearable camera, you know. I mean, we try to shy away from calling ourselves one thing or another because we don't want to limit ourselves. You know, whether it's diving or skydiving, snow sports, water sports, motor sports, you know, we want to so you can do all of it. Right. And that's the other thing, too. You have one camera for specific things. We're trying to make our camera so the only camera you really need to cover all those different things you love to do. Right. Um, obviously, you guys are international, I'm assuming. Yep. Yeah, of course, um, still here in the U.S. In the U.S. Um, Europe's taken off though quite a bit. Uh, we're, we're doing well in Australia, pushing into South America. Central what are you America seeing in well. Europe as far as product? Um, Gosh, I mean the snow sports, the mountain sports, the auto sports. I mean, motorsports is huge in Europe. And so, yeah. what's great about that is those guys want to see three, four angles, so they're buying multiple cameras all at the same yeah. time. We're coming out with a 3D camera that'll probably be about 700 bucks, which is, I mean, you'll not, you won't find anything that's probably less than five figures right. at this point that's on the market. Uh, we kind of blew some doors at the uh, NAB show, the broadcast show earlier this year. Because they're like, are you kidding me? Seven hundred dollars? Right. Three right. And then you're like, yeah. <laughs> you know, I mean, that's wow. what we're all about. We want to. We're keeping it simple. We're keeping it, you know, affordable. And I mean, imagine all these different action sports in 3D: surfing, That'd be wakeboarding, incredible. Yeah. motocross. Uh, yeah, we're still small, but we're growing rapidly. I mean, the growth's been tremendous and really hard to keep up with. I mean, you've got a, a booth, good problem yeah, a, to booth, have. a booth here that's like like 10 spaces or something yeah. so it's a big move you're doing all right <laughs> yeah, we're doing well but yeah. uh, we still have a lot of work to do but yeah. you know, obviously we're that, happy right that's now. all in the adventure man that's exactly. a part of it we're enjoying so. the ride <laughs> that's cool man well i really appreciate your time justin thanks for everything man thanks, and man. uh we'll see you later all right cheers thanks.